Hello friends, Jennifer Pearson here, Thistle Gypsy. I decided to do one more video. This should be a brief one, but I, um, I'm also very curious about feedback from the tarot community in general about this, what they do for people who are graduating. So, I don't know that I've ever really done a search for graduation readings, um, but I thought, well, I just finished one. <laughs> So I will go ahead and share what I do. And I haven't really shared it before because it's very dependent on the decks that I have. Um, and so everybody might not have these decks. And so that's why I'm curious what other people do. Um, and there are other situations when like parts, um, a major part of what I do, um, wouldn't apply. So but here's what I do. <laughs> just in case anybody is wanting to do this sort of thing. Um, so the first thing I do is I pick uh, an animal totem card. So I do an animal totem card. Then I pick, uh, if it's a male, then I pick three god cards. If it's a female, I pick three goddess cards. And the three cards are one general card, so kind of the god or goddess that is overseeing your life in general. The second one is love, and the third one is career and work life. So those are the goddess cards. The next section is um, archetypes. So, and I say, because I figure that this is high school graduation, not college graduation. So I have these cards, and I'm always looking for reasons to use them, you know. Um, and this is this is kind of a, a natural way in which to use them. And so I, t I actually choose eight of those. Might be overdoing it a little bit, but I choose eight archetype cards. And I tell... I you pretty much take from the cards, um, and there's no pictures given with this unless I get a, a request. But I um, just take each each of those cards has uh, kind of an upright and a shadow aspect. So let me see if I can take one. So this goddess has a light attribute and a shadow attribute. Um, so I just. Occasionally I will add something that I'm feeling in regard to one of these, but for the most part I just take it verbatim from the face of the card. There's a guidebook as well, and sometimes I will read that um, and take from that as well. So, and I, and I tell, you know, the graduate I'm reading for that you can kind of mix and match these take a look at them and, and see if there are any that kind of go together, you know, which ones you relate to, which ones, what might be a career that you would start with and something else might come later and that sort of thing. So, um, so I provide eight of them. Um, and then the last thing I do is a nine card general reading which is intended to pretty much be about the coming year. Okay, so it's kind of the transition year out of out of having your life so rigidly defined by school schedules and entering perhaps other school schedules um, and and work life. So that's what I do. And again, I just wanted to share that technique that way of doing things, of providing somebody with a graduation reading. And again, I would be very curious to hear from anybody else um, about what you've done in the past or anybody who routinely does that kind of a reading. I would be really curious to hear uh, what you're doing. Take care. Bye-bye.